My name is Elvis Louis Green and um, I was born on the 29th of uh, September 1957 uh, to parents uh, Stanley Walter and Cynthia Louisa. Uh, I was, I'm one of five uh, siblings and I um, was placed fourth in the family. We uh, grew up in the old uh, uh, colored village, which was uh, uh, alongside the M3. Um, and then when I was three years old, we moved to a suburb uh, called Woodlands in Peter Marisburg, which is now just above the Midlands Mall in Peter Marisburg. Okay, I, um, I started school at the age of five. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, um, progressed through to uh, high school, which was the uh, Old Alston uh, High School where I uh, graduated and uh, yeah, after that I decided that I'm going to um, uh, take a career in, uh, in, in uh, uh, boiler making. Okay, so <clears throat> when I finished school, I, um, I uh, decided that I'm going to take a um, a career in, uh, in 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 boiler making, and I was indentured as an apprentice uh, by a company called APB Kessner. I must say that uh, for the first six months, uh, because I used to run to work every morning, for the first six months, I really questioned my decision in terms of my career choice, uh, and I often. Uh, uh, um, said to myself, well, you know what, I think your father would have loved for you to become a doctor or lawyer. And what are you, what are you, what on earth are you doing being, being a, a, a boilermaker? And yeah, this went on for six months until I looked at myself in the mirror one morning and I said, you know, Elvis, you need to make up your mind. You either put your heart and soul into what you're doing or get out and do something else. And uh, this is exactly what I did. I put my heart and soul into um, my apprenticeship and I then qualified um, as a boilermaker in 1977. APB was a, an international uh, company uh, with the head of office being uh, based in Crawley in the UK. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, um, due to sanctions in 1987, the company decided to close its operations and pull out and this was in fact uh, an industrial tragedy, especially for the colored community because uh, APB uh, employed at least about uh, uh, 150 uh, people. So yeah, you know, with, with this uh, announcement, uh, you know, I thought my world had come to an end, you know, having a wife and at the time two children and another one on the way. I just thought that, oh my word, you know, what, what am I going to do? And um, I applied for three jobs and um, two, two were in Peter Marisburg and one was in, in Durban. And uh, lo and behold, I, I got all three, uh, all my applications were, were successful. And now I was in a dilemma in terms of which job I should uh, choose. And, uh, you know, after wrestling for, 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 for a while, I decided that I'm going to get out of my comfort zone and I'm going to take the job offer in Durban uh, at, a, at a company called ND Engineering, which is the company I now own. Um, yeah, so I, I started uh, with ND Engineering as a estimator planner on the um, 4th of May, 1987. And this is where I am today. Okay. My um, current position is the managing director of ND Engineering. And at, a, at an operational level, I'm heavily involved in the proposals department, but much of my time is dedicated to driving the strategic direction of the business and creating an environment where we are able to practice collective agility in an environment that is volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. I believe that a competitive edge and resilience is dependent on your ability to adapt, and that is my focus in my current position. 
Well, I feel incredibly blessed that my hard work over many decades has culminated in the level of success that I have achieved. In addition, I'm extremely proud that I have built a business that has shown great resolve and stability in very trying economic times. This stability has allowed me to provide employment that is meaningful and extends far beyond a generic employer employee relationship. We employ 262 full-time employees and apart from full company benefits, we invest substantially in the tertiary education of our employees' children. This bursary scheme extends to youth in our community and covers vocational cho choices which are not directly linked to our field of business. As a good corporate citizen, we uplift the local community through focused investment on an iterative basis with the sincere goal of giving back. Every man wants to leave a legacy of some sort. And for me, I would like to be remembered as a person who always put community before profit. And I believe I am on, tra on track to achieving this legacy. And our motto for ND Engineering is our people make us who we are. Um, you know, in the engineering over the many years has been, we've created an atmosphere of family, you know, so the moment you walk through the door and you you, you, you go through the different departments, you, you can feel that sense of uh, love, the sense of support, and I wouldn't want to have it any other way. And this has been created over the many, many years. I am proud of my entire journey. I'm proud of the fact that even when I occupied humble positions in my career, I've always been committed to the cause and worked diligently to grow professionally and advance the businesses that I have been employed at. There are standout accomplishments like purchasing the business in 2012 and building a new world-class manufacturing facility in 2019. But I'm also proud of the difference I've been able to make in the lives of people that have needed it most. Okay, negativity is an overpowering human emotion that has the ability to cripple us all. In the face of overwhelming negativity, I'm an eternal optimist. Some people are able to find a problem in every solution. I believe that there's always a solution to a problem and always ba back myself to find a way through. In addition, hard work does not always guarantee success, but in most cases, it is a prerequisite to master oneself personally and professionally. In my career, um, one of the biggest challenges that stands out is um, the time when I was the production manager of ND Engineering. And that was during the financial crisis, the year 2008 and 2009. We had a full order book at the time that extended for one and a half years. We had purchased a large tonnage of uh, project materials. And at, at the time I was on a business trip to China I turned the television on um, the one morning and all I heard was the collapse of the U.S. Uh, Lehman Bank. My, my initial reaction was, well, this will not affect us. Little did I realize that this collapse would affect the entire world. When I arrived back in South Africa, I discovered that 90% of the projects in our books were put on hold. This was in December 2008. And to compound matters, our clients had frozen all payments. This put us as a company in a very precarious situation. For the next two months, I concentrated my time and energy in communicating with our clients. And the effort was rewarded because at the end of January 2009, 90% of the monies owed to us was paid. It was during this time that many companies fell by the wayside. And I am eternally grateful to God for his intervention and provision in our lives at that particular time. 
Conflicts and obstacles are part of the dynamic world that we live in. There is no avoiding this. One can only plan and equip your team to adapt. In my experience, there is no substitute for an engaged workforce and high performance culture. I always emphasize that as a business unit, we are a system which relies on the performance of the entire company to achieve our strategic goals. And the attainment of our desired outcomes can only come from an alignment as a team. This helps resolve conflicts and creates an inclusive environment for collective problem solving. Well, you know, firstly, I, I, I must say that uh, my mom uh, was always a, a great inspiration to me. Um, my wife, Debbie, who I've been married uh, to for 45 years, has also been a big inspiration and a big support throughout my career. But I'm not inspired by any one person in particular, but I'm inspired by the fact that anyone, irrespective of their social or financial standing, have the ability to make a positive impact on this beautiful world that we live in. For this reason, I find motivation in leveraging my position to garner pos positivity and hope for the future. You know, KZN is a province with a rich heritage and culture. We have had our fair share of disruption and ongoing social problems, which have deterred many people and suppressed investment in recent times. But I am optimistic about the future of our province. With the correct collaboration between the public and private sectors, I believe we can leverage our unique location as the gateway to Africa to harness significant growth opportunities from an import and export perspective. We have a young population that is hungry for an opportunity, and it is up to business owners like myself to embrace this. Well, you know, having the upbringing that I had at a very young age, I had the desire to improve my life. My positive conditioning began at this time and has played a big role in my life. A principle that, I, that I've applied in all aspects of my life is, the more bountifully you sow, the more bountifully you will reap. And also, all we really have is the day at hand. So, do the very best with the day at hand and this will take care of the future. Each one of us have the unique individuality so why not be the best version of who we were created to be <laughs>